वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ लेटर्स टू माई नेफ्यू सो आई ऑलरेडी अनाउंस दिस प्रोग्राम लास्ट इवनिंग सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी हैड माई डिनर अगेन अ पोस्ट डिनर सेशन विथ माई फ्रेंड्स यंग फ्रेंड्स रादर एंड सब्सक्राइबर्स सो हियर इज दैट लेटर द फर्स्ट लेटर दैट आई रोड ऑन एप्रिल ट्वेंटी एट टू जीरो टू जीरो आई एम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ आस वोट लाइक टू थिंक अबाउट एप्रिल ट्वेंटी एट टू जीरो टू जीरो so so let me read this letter to you as a part of the program and as promised dear arya singh to begin with let me say that i am always delighted to see you i am very happy to know that you found the pythagoras theorem to be cool so my nephew who is i in the 10th standard he thinks math is pretty cool actually and uh, and he plans to do computer science in the future so let's talk about it a few years ago i picked up a book called the pythagorean theorem of 4000 years history so the one which i showed yesterday written by eli mayor just think of it people are crazy about this theorem for the last 4000 years so when i first opened the book in the title page i found the following diagram So here is a triangle, right angle triangle ABC, where ABC is the right angle, and from the vertex B, which is opposite to the hypotenuse AC, a perpendicular B, perpendicular BD is drawn meeting the hypotenuse AC at D. So below that, this diagram, it was written that it was the simplest proof of the Pythagoras theorem. However, proof of this result needs the idea of similar triangles. since we have not discussed this idea i will talk about it in my next letter but let us first do a fun proof of the result so it's a work which if some young uh, school kids would see it or uh, anyone actually you can take a take a paper and cut out from the paper a triangle of vertical length a a right angle triangle of vertical length a horizontal length b and hypotenuse c just take a paper and fold it along the diagonal and just tear it off so here you have two triangles just measured the lengths a b c same thing you can do so two small papers in small exercise book will do this job so cut out from any paper a triangle with vertical length a horizontal length b and hypotenuse c so you can of course choose a is 4 and b is 3 and c is 5 i think 3 4 5 are quite the, the most famous pythagorean triplet make four such triangles as i told you we need two small papers maybe with the same length what you have said written 3 4 5 arrange those four triangles in the following way so you arrange how just you keep the c on the outside so when you make arrange these triangles you essentially get a square with a hole by the way the space inside and the c the hypotenuse lies on the outside they become the side of a square and you arrange it in such a way that you can observe from this arrangement that inside there is a square of length a minus b so i'll just hold it here for a few minutes for you to observe this thing so what we have got is a square of side c whose area is c square and which whose area is equal to the sum of the areas of the four triangles plus the square inside here so area of the big square is c square square centimeters i am assuming all length sign centimeters and what is the area of each triangle it's half base into altitude the base is b the length altitude is a so half b into a so half ab so there are four triangles so 4 into half ab which is 2ab while the small square inside has the side a minus b well so sorry so the small square has a side a minus b because this this length is a this little part is b so this is a minus b 
So it has the small square as the area a minus b whole square. So the big square is the area of the four triangles plus the small square. Area of the big square is the area of the these four triangles plus the area of the small square. So we write c square is equal to a minus b square plus 2ab. So a minus b whole square you just expand to get a square minus 2ab plus b square plus 2ab here which cancels out with the minus 2ab here and you get c square equal to a square plus b square and the French would say voila we are done. So now can you arrange those same triang four triangles in such a way such that the big square outside has a length a plus b. You will find it obviously you can search at Google you can find such proofs but whatever. So here is a question I have asked my nephew can you arrange the four triangles in such a way that the big square outside has sides of length a plus b and then prove the Pythagoras theorem. I end here for today and there is more to come. Love J2. J2 is the Bengali term. It's a, it's a, it's a you know, great or great uncle. Uh, Jet in Hindi possibly. So, so J2 is a Bengali term. So, so I end with Love J2 and I hope many of you would see this would must have enjoyed this little little limerick rather about Pythagoras theorem. So other things would follow. Thank you and have a good evening.